Hey guys, what's going on? It's Phil, the Harness Doctor, and in today's video, I am extremely excited to share with you this newly released AutoSync device by White Automotive and Media Services. This device is now available online for purchase at whiteautoandmedia.com. I'll provide all the information and links down below in the description on what we're going over in today's video. Now, the device itself is an easy to install module that plugs into your OBD2 port on your truck. It will add many enhanced functional and comfort for GM truck and SUV. Here on the front, you've got two momentary buttons labeled by A and B. You've got an LED indicator on the top. Here on the back, you've got a mini USB port for firmware updates. And then you've got a window here that's covered by this tape. And you've got dip switches on here that will allow the device to be used for other things. Right here is a 23 page guide that you're gonna to wanna to download and review so you can take a look at all the different features it has. We'll go over some of these features in my truck that are applicable to my truck. And the supported vehicles here are 2014 to 2018 Silverado Sierra 1500 trucks, uh, 2015 to 2019 2500, 3500, and then your SUVs here um, down below. And so the device itself, we're gonna go plug this into the truck. Um, I do highly recommend you grab the guide. Um, here at the very last paragraph, it says that this guide is long and boring, but I just wanted to make sure that you grab this guide so that you can determine whether or not this device is gonna be for you. Now, the device is actually two devices in one. First, out of the box, it is gonna allow you to immediately enhance some of the features in your truck and turn on features that you never had before. Second, the tool itself will now allow you to program modules in your vehicle that you used to have to remove and send off to White Auto and Media to get programmed. And so it's going to act as a programming mechanism to program those modules. For example, your HMI, your BCM, your cluster, and your radio module. So we're going to go over out of the box what it does. And I actually have a couple of calibration files on this device that are made and built specifically for my truck. So I'll show you how those features will work so that you can get a better understanding of how to use this for future programming rather than having your truck down, for example, say for a BCM program, you can order the BCM calibration, have it loaded onto the device, and you upload the programming yourself to your truck. So let's get this guy installed and we'll go through those features. So here's my truck, it's a 2016 Chevy Silverado. And we're gonna get this guy installed. When you go to install this, make sure your truck is off and simply plug it into your OBD2 port. So down here at your OBD2 port, you're gonna simply plug it in. Like so. So once the auto sync is plugged in, you're gonna go ahead and turn your truck on, but you won't actually start it. So we're gonna turn it over once. That's the accessory mode. Turn it again. And that's the on mode right before you actually turn the key to start it. So this is the mode you're gonna to wanna to be in. Now, the auto sync has two methods or two ways you can actually access the menu from the radio screen. The first method I'm gonna show you here where the truck is not running, but the key is in the on position, is going to give us features on the screen that you may not see when the truck is actually running. And so to access the actual menu in the on position, you're gonna hit the cruise control cancel button. And when you hit that, on your radio screen, you're gonna have all these options here. So we'll go through these real quick. You've got AFM or active fuel management is currently enabled. Uh, I think by default, it's set to disabled. You've got strobe lights, work lights, powertrain data. You can scroll through uh, the following pages. It tells you what page you are here up at the top. You can view the rear view camera. Uh, you've got all these different features, high idle, current DTCs, secure idle. Next page, you've got uh, RVC backup lights, reverse work lights. And then if you have a diesel truck or diesel only trucks, you've got other options that'll be available. You've got this turn signal camera on and off, which is a really neat feature. We go to page four. We've got module setup, auto sync info, performance timer, module programming. Auto sync info will tell you what firmware version you're running. And if you actually look at the manual, it'll tell you that the instructions are for firmware 2.0 or higher. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you here is that uh, there's an auto sync update button here. So if you are connected to um, Wi Fi, you can actually update the firmware right from your truck. 
and then we go back to page one. So as I scroll through here, you've got all these different functions that are available for you. So the strobe lights off, if I hit strobe lights on, what that does is exactly what it says. So we'll come out here and we'll take a look. And it does exactly what it says. It will strobe your lights in a random flashing pattern. as such. We'll go to turn that off. This is a neat feature if you are in, say, in the construction business or in a uh, business where you need to have your strobe lights on uh, for whatever reason. Um, you do not have to install any sort of aftermarket controller or aftermarket lighting. You can use this device and have the ability to instantly make your lights into a strobe light function. Now, uh, of course, you know, you want to follow all laws. I'm sure there are hefty fines. If you have this turned on on the highway or on the road for any reason other than its intended purpose. So I'm going to put that warning out there for you guys. Work lights on and off. Um, we can turn that on and turn that off. We'll explain what that does in the guide. Powertrain data. If you want to look at your powertrain data, this gives you some information on your powertrain data. Next page, view review camera. This will give you the ability to pull up your review camera anytime. High idle on and off, current DTCs. Some of these things, I don't know what they actually do. And so I would recommend you grabbing the guide and uh, taking a look at and seeing what these options are actually gonna do for you. So the work lights on and off functionality uh, currently set to off. If I turn that on, what that does is it eliminates the cargo light in the back of the bed and also your reverse lights. So this is really handy if you are in an area where you need to have additional lighting that you wanna be able to turn on. Um, this functionality will be able to do that. Most folks will say, well, yep, I can do that by hitting the button. But what this also does is it also activates your reverse lights as well to give you some additional lighting. In addition, if you go to drive, and that work light is off, set to turn off, by default, GM will deactivate that light because you can't have that uh, cargo light uh, operational while you're in drive. And so what this does is you can hit that work lights on, cargo light button is eliminated, we're in drive. I've got the e-brake on, so let's go take a look at what that does. So you've got the cargo light, and you've got the reverse light that eliminate while in drive. Let's go back in here real quick, turn that off. And now the cargo light button is turned off and we're back in park. Really neat feature. Um, I've got a lot of folks that always ask, how can I turn my cargo lights on while I'm in drive? Maybe they wanna turn that light on and they wanna look at, uh, see what's going on behind them. Um, they can do that with this tool by viewing the review camera. You've got all that additional lighting. So pretty neat feature. So secure idle on and off. What this does is let's say you want to be able to keep your truck running with the key in the ignition. If you are in park and actually take the key fobs with you, and lock the truck, this will actually lock the gear selector in park so that in the event of a smash and grab, um, the person will not be able to shift out of park even with the brake pedal pe pressed. So a uh, real nice security feature if you wanna have your truck running and not having the ability to shift out of park and, unless you've uh, um, unlocked your truck. So as I mentioned earlier, there are gonna be specific functions for diesel trucks only. For example, this traction control lock control. On the next page, we've got transmission learn, DPF force regen. Uh, these are gonna be features that are specific to diesel trucks only. Um, I'll talk about launch control here, launch control. I don't know if I have to go into detail on what this does, but we'll go through this here. Put your transmission in drive, make sure your vehicle is stopped, hold your brake firm, and press the set on your cruise control, release the brake and floor it. So uh, obviously I'm in a residential area. I don't have the ability to test that, but uh, I'll leave that up to you for uh, your own testing purposes. Let me show you some of the programming features you're gonna be able to do with the AutoSync. So I'm gonna turn the key into the on position. We'll wait for the screen to boot up and we'll hit the cruise control cancel button. And we'll page over to module programming. 
Now, my truck is a 2016 Chevy Silverado LT. I recently installed LED factory headlights and taillights. And as you know, with the factory LED taillights and headlights, if you go to use your turn signal indicator, you will get a turn signal indicator failure notice on your cluster. Let's see if I can get that to show here. There it is. And so what I've done here is with the BCM programming, I've got a custom calibration made for my truck to be able to remove that indicator fa failure uh, message. So we're gonna go to modified on the calibration and we will let it do its thing. You'll get a series of messages that'll flicker and scroll through on the cluster as it's programming. And this process does take about 15 to 20 seconds or so. And again, in order for you to have a custom calibration file made, you actually have to uh, get that done and loaded onto your AutoSync device for you to be able to do this step here. Okay. So that is complete. We should get a message on the screen to cycle our key off. All right, so we'll turn our truck off, remove the key. I like to open the door for good measure. And then we will start the truck. And now I go to use my turn signal. The turn signal indicator failure notices are gone. Factory LED headlights and taillights without the hyper flash. I'm gonna show you another feature of the programming. In my truck, I've got the factory DVD Blu-ray player. I've got the Avengers movie in the disc, and I've got the movie playing. If I go to drive, you can see the screen uh, blanks out. If I go to park, I can play the movie. That's a restriction in motion that GM enables so that uh, you can drive safely. And what we're gonna do is we are going to program or HMI with a custom calibration file. So I'm gonna go into module programming and HMI programming. It's gonna pull up the stock calibration file. We're gonna select the modified calibration file. And we're gonna let that do its thing. And what it's doing is it's going to unlock the HMI to allow the restriction in motion to occur. And again, uh, the process is pretty quick, takes about 15 to 20 seconds or so. And it says to restart the system. Turn the vehicle off, open the door. So the HMI has been programmed. Now, if I play that movie, I've got the movie there. Put my truck in drive and the movie is still playing where previously that screen would blank out and go to the default screen while in drive. Another feature I wanna share with you, I'm gonna turn this into the on position and hit cruise control cancel. And we're gonna page over to page three and it's gonna be turn signal camera set to on right now. And so that's a really neat feature. And what that does is that when you use your left or your right turn signal, it'll automatically call up the reverse camera and will show that uh, screen for about a second or two while you're driving. So let me show you how that works. All right, so we go to drive. And I go to use either left or right turn signal. It will activate the reverse camera for about a second or two.
This can be handy if you want to see who's behind you real quick before you're making a lane change. That's the turn signal camera functionality. So a few things I wanted to talk about with this device plugged in. Um, you can see it sticks out a little bit here um, to where the A and B buttons are a little close to the knee bolster. And so there is a, an OBD2 splitter cable that you can get to where you can plug this in maybe behind the knee bolster. Another thing I wanted to show you here is let me turn this into the on position and access the menu here. All right, hitting that cruise control cancel button. Sometimes you'll get a blank screen, no worries, just hit the back button and then it'll repaint um, or refresh on your screen here. So like I told you earlier, there are gonna be certain features that are only accessed when the truck is not running and the key's in the on position. And one of those features will be the module programming. And so if you're in the module programming in the guide, it does say that in order for these features to actually work, the device has to be plugged in all the time. The device is not detectable by any dealerships. Uh, it does not void any warranties or anything like that. And you can actually unplug the device while your vehicle is running um, or unplug it for that matter. And so here I am in the module programming. This is a feature that's only available when the truck is off. And so if I go to BCM programming, it's going to read my existing BCM calibration file and it's going to tell me what I've got going on. I go back and I'm back to the module programming. Now, let's say I start the truck from here. That screen is still there, but now that my truck's running, I can no longer access the module programming or any of the other options that are normally turned off because the truck needs to be in the off state. So really neat, um, it's fail safe uh, device. Uh, you can plug this in and unplug it um, at any point in time. Um, really happy about this device. I'm gonna go ahead and mess with some of the other features and uh, see what the final results are. So for you performance guys, there's one really neat feature I forgot to show earlier and it's late now, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you now. I've got the truck running, so I'm gonna hit the rear defrost button four times to get to the menu. and we're gonna go to powertrain data. I forgot to show this to you earlier. So if you click on powertrain data and you hit the minimize button, this is gonna give you all sorts of engine data information. You've got your spark and your knock retard, uh, your MAF information, and then your trans step. If you hit minimize here, if you come over to the cluster and you scroll over to navigation, you have the information displayed on the cluster. It basically mirrors the information here. Uh, you just have to hit uh, dismiss here. We've got the information there on the cluster and using the lock and unlock buttons, you can use that to navigate uh, the information right here on your cluster. And again, hitting that rear defrost four times will take you back to the menu and you can see the information I'm talking about there that is essentially mirrored on your cluster. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the AutoSync. Uh, I am really excited to finally get this into my hands. I really like what it can do. And now I have the ability to get my BCM programmed without having to pull my BCM out and send it off and be down. So if you guys enjoyed this video, or if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I'll have links to everything we talked about. Be sure to get the guide and I'll provide the links to the guide as well. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, this is Phil the Harness Doctor. We'll see you later.